This event is an experiment into what happens when a group of performance artists go undercover at Tate Modern. Many visitors won't even realise these performances are going on around them, and that's part of the point. The artists take everyday activities like riding on an escalator or standing in a queue and subtly intervene to subvert them. So we're left wondering what's real and what's not. The first piece is by Dora Garcia. It's called The Crowd and consists of a group of actors posing as visitors going through the galleries with a tour guide who's also playing a part. Genuine visitors can join the tour and there are a few clues that this is anything out of the ordinary. But at what stage do they register that this isn't the usual tour guide spiel? The child, Alfred Hitchcock, was put in prison cell as a punishment. A punishment and put there by his own father and the authorities who are accomplices in this unfair reprimand to a child. So I presented two performances today, The Crowds and The Prophets. So The Prophets are two young and attractive men uh, that uh, are distributing photocopies to among the public. And uh, on these photocopies is predicted what is going to happen in the future, in the near future, like till the next performance or in the next 24 hours. It's always near future predictions. I always give uh, very, um, I think, precise but brief instructions. And actually I have no idea how the work is going to develop, so I, I am there as public, uh, watching my own work and see what happens. Sometimes it, it's more interesting than others, but I think this is really, really a sort of negotiation with reality, uh, how it's going to turn up. The next piece is by Mario Garcia Torres and is a restaging of a work by Vito Acconci called Following Piece. And that pretty much describes what this artist does. He picks people out and follows them wherever they go in the building. There's a, I mean, there's a lot of reasons to do it. For me, the experience of doing it will uh, somehow become uh, some sort of research on you know, social relationships and um, uh, to see how people behave in the gallery and the museum and sort of try to understand those behaviours. The performance being staged by Roman Ondak is called Q. It looks like an ordinary queue of people, except that they're lining up at rather odd places, in front of a wall or at a fire exit. The queue moves around the building to different locations throughout the day. Sometimes other people try and join in without knowing what it's for. If they're asked what they're waiting for, the performers are instructed to give the same response. We're just queuing. Yuri Kovanda is presenting two works that test social boundaries. One work involves him going up an escalator backwards and trying to look people in the eye who are below him. The other piece was inspired by the many glass walls we have here at Tate Modern and the way they both separate and open things up. I'm inviting uh, people to kiss me through a glass wall. It is about uh, uh, connection, very close but, uh, but very distant. To round off the day, Nina Jan Beer and Mary Jan Lund are inviting everybody in the building to clap in time with each other. Though no one's told what they're applauding, that doesn't seem to matter. We started it, but at one point it kind of the sensor moved and it wasn't. It didn't it wasn't to us yeah, anymore. no, it wasn't in our control anymore. But we were surprised though to see how easily it spread, how easily the instruction. The clapping itself as an instruction worked, that people actually just spontaneously joined. It felt a bit like making an army strategy today, kind of going around, getting our troops placed in the, in the right position. <laughs> 